and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFly. More specifically, welcome to my house. Now, for today's video, obviously we're in my house and we're going to make a fake scenario. So let's just say I've got a device downstairs in my lounge, like a Freeview box or an Xbox or something like that that can output an HDMI signal. And I want to watch that device in another room in the house. Let's just say I've got a TV in the bedroom and I want to watch that device, be it the set-top box that's in the lounge, I want to watch it in the bedroom. So how are we going to get that HDMI signal up to the bedroom? <laughs> Now, on the surface, it seems kind of easy. You know, in this day and age with incredible Wi-Fi speeds from your routers, you've got things like, well, power line adapters, which is what we're going to be using to make this work, but there's no actual device out there unless you want to go with some sort of wireless HDMI kit, and these things run in excess of like £200 sometimes to get HDMI to a certain place. Now, to do this, I have bought two things, and we're going to try and use them together. Now, I've seen people use use these things in YouTube videos before and demonstrate all of this with great success and I've also seen people fail with this. So this is actually a kit on Amazon and I'll link all this in the description and essentially you get two of these little boxes here and one of them will actually take the input, the HDMI input and turn it into an Ethernet cable as to which then you could run an Ethernet cable to this box then plug the Ethernet cable into this and it will then obviously output an HDMI signal. So you've essentially turned HDMI into Ethernet and then back out to HDMI again. So that's all well and good. We can run an Ethernet cable between downstairs and upstairs and bish bash bosh, you've got your HDMI signal upstairs. But what if you don't want to run an Ethernet cable or what if you can't run an Ethernet cable? How are we going to do this? Well, the obvious way is to run it through a set of power line adapters. So uh, these are TP-Link's sort of latest and greatest from Amazon. I think this whole setup has cost me about 180 pounds just to test this out for a video. So we'll see if this will work and if it's reliable or not. So in here, as well you'd expect, you've got two sort of power line adapters. Essentially, these will just go in the wall and transmit the Ethernet signal through your home's wiring. Now these are rated up to a thousand meg a second and they come with a few Ethernet cables, so let's hook all of this up and see if it works. Essentially, we're going to take a source, plug it into this, Ethernet cable out into here, and then it will travel through the home's wiring to, let's say, upstairs, where we take the Ethernet from this, plug it into this, and then we've got another HDMI cable. Essentially, we've ran the HDMI through the home's wiring. Now, we've got a source down here, which is an Xbox, so we'll use this and see if we can get our Xbox signal in from the kitchen onto our TV upstairs. So what we'll do is we'll take this Xbox upstairs and we'll try and get the Xbox signal on that TV just there. So guys, I'm just plugging in over here the source, which is gonna be our, well, Xbox One X. This could be absolutely anything. It could be a set-top box, it could be a DVD player. We're just using this as an example source to get the signal from this elsewhere in the house and see if we can do it through the home's wiring. So if this works, I'm gonna be super, super impressed. Now, I apologize for the lighting in this room. We're just in my office now, which isn't even built yet. But essentially, this is our source. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take an HDMI cable from this, which we have here. We're going to plug that into there. And then this is going to go into our HDMI over Ethernet like that. And then we're going to take an Ethernet cable that is then going to go into there and going to plug into our power line adapter. Then that can plug into the wall. And then we also have to give power to this little unit here, which is included in the box so we just plug the power in there that then goes into the wall too and hopefully now the signal from this goes into this gets converted to ethernet goes into the power line and hopefully we can pick up the signal from this downstairs so let's just turn her on so essentially guys down here we have our receiving unit which we're going to plug the hdmi into so that it's going to end up in our TV over there, but we need to give this thing the data signal. So that's going to plug into there, and then we have our other power line here. Looks in like that, and then we have the power cable for this. Is this really this simple? Right, okay. So that plugs in there. 
So see this green light in the middle here? The top one is the power, so obviously we have power. This green one that has the home icon means that it's successfully linked to the power line adapter up there. So now essentially we plug this in and give this some power. And then that just plugs in to the telly. So, with some luck, now if I change the channel, or not the channel, the HDMI input on this computer, bang to HDMI 3, which is the little device down there, hopefully... Okay, so guys, for the last sort of 45 minutes to an hour, I've been trying to troubleshoot this because, shocker, none of it is working whatsoever. I'm looking at the TV's reflection to see if it is. Now, I've tried numerous different versions of power line adapters. These are the new TP-Link ones. I've also got some older TP-Link power line adapters and some ones from Netgear. Three sets, three of three don't work. But, however, if you take this cable, which goes over to the receiving unit and plug it directly into the network. And then unplug this from this power line adapter. And go ahead and plug this one straight into the house's network. So essentially it's a ethernet cable and the house's network between the sender and the receiver downstairs. It works absolutely fine. As you guys can see, we're in 720p. We can bump it up to 1080 just to prove that it works at 1080. The reason we tried it in 720 was we thought it's not working through the power lines because of the amount of data it requires to do the 1080p signal. So we thought we'll try it down at 720. Still didn't work. I've tried it with the power lines going straight from the sender to the receiver. I've tried it with the power lines going through the house's network. As soon as you introduce the power lines, to the setup, it just doesn't work. Now it's really, really odd because I've seen loads of different videos online of people sort of getting this to work. And I actually bought the exact same hardware, power line adapters and the sender and receiver kit as one of these videos that I saw online, tried to replicate exactly what he has done and well, absolutely nothing. So this is the conclusion of this video. If you guys want to go ahead and get an HDMI signal somewhere, but don't want to run HDMI signals, whether it's be because you want to run the signal or the cable longer than 30 meters, and that is sort of HDMI's maximum sort of travel, you can buy this and you can extend the HDMI over an ethernet cable, whether it be through your house's network with this kit, or a simple single ethernet cable between this unit, the receiver and the sender upstairs. And obviously you can buy external grade ethernet cable. You can drill a hole out the wall, up the side of the house into let's say the bedroom, drill in, and then you've got yourself a nice solid 1080p signal. The fact that uh, I can't even get it to work through the power lines is, well, really, really bad. And even if you did, well, would it be any good? Would it keep dropping out? What would the longevity be like? The fact is that I can't get it to work. This is a brand new house. It has brand new internal wiring in here. So you'd think it would be spick and span and it should work absolutely fine. But I do not recommend anybody try and get HDMI through the house's wiring. If you want to run an HDMI signal longer than an HDMI cable, then just you run an ethernet cable, essentially. Uh, it's the only way to do it. There you go, myth busted. So guys, let's just have a quick recap. We had our source, which was our Xbox, or anything we would want it to be, our satellite TV box. We had a TV in a different room. We bought some HDMI to Ethernet converters, which were these things, I'll link them in the description, and we tried to run them through some gigabit power line adapters in a brand new house with brand new wiring, and it did not work. We tried it with the power line adapters straight away. We tried it with the power line adapters through the network. Nothing, the only way it worked was to take the devices, the sender and the receiver and connect them straight together with an ethernet cable or with an ethernet cable through a network, i.e. through the router. That works, just so you guys know. But as I've said guys, myth busted. 
Guys, my name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow. Don't run HDMI through your home's wiring because it doesn't work. And we will see you in the next one. If you guys enjoyed the video, a like rating will be awesome. You can click subscribe right there. And there's some other little tips and tricks that we've done here at TechFlow to help you out at home right there.